diffuse optical imaging, or DOI for short, is a technique that uses near-infrared light to take images of the body. Near-infrared light is basically just part of the electromagnetic spectrum. The way DOI actually works is by first of all shining infrared light on the skin. Once the infrared light reaches the skin, some of it is absorbed and some of it scatters. The light that scatters then reaches a detector, which calculates how much the intensity of the infrared light has decreased by. Now, as we all know, hopefully, hemoglobin carries oxygen to the cells. And it turns out that hemoglobin is also a good absorber of infrared light. This is why one of the applications of DOI is to detect breast cancer. It is known that cancer cells have a larger network of blood supply because they require more oxygen and glucose. This means that there will be more hemoglobin in the areas where cancer cells are located. And if you remember, hemoglobin is a good absorber of infrared light, which means that in areas where there is more hemoglobin, more infrared light will be absorbed, and so the detected intensity will be smaller compared to the rest of the areas where the blood supply is normal. By using these differences in the detected intensities, the computer converts all the numbers into an image which we can easily process. And so, we can see exactly where the cancer cells are located. Another application is the measurement of brain function, which you may associate with this guy over here. And the way it works is pretty much the same. We know that the areas with a higher brain activity will require more oxygen, so they will have a larger blood supply, therefore more hemoglobin will be found in those areas. If we shine infrared light, areas of the brain with a higher brain activity will absorb more infrared light, and so the detected intensity will be lower. This information is then processed by the computer that creates the image, and this image will show the relative brain activity. DOI is cheap, safe, and non-invasive. The only downfall is that you can only use it to detect things that are happening close to the surface of the skin, and that is diffuse optical imaging.